ज्ञानतिरंध्य ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षु उन्मीलिताेन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मन विस्तम स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाति सदंतिक वंदे अहम श्रीगुरो श्रीयोतापदकमल श्रीगोरन वैष्णवश्रीप सग्र जा सह गणारुनाथ नितम तम सजीव साधयत शबदूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधकृष्ण पद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखा नित नमो ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पश्चात्देशिणे वंशकुश्च कृपा सिंधु एव च पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नम नम गुरो गौरचंद्राय राधिका वैतदाल कृष्णाय कृष्णभक्ताय तत्भक्ताय नम नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमः भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः भगवते वासुदेवाय मुखम करती बाचल पुंगम लंगे ग्रीम जत कृपा तम वंदे श्री गुरु दिन तारिणम परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्यश्वर हरिओं तस् सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस श्रीमद भगवद गीता फर्स्ट चैप्टर वर्स नंबर फोर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी सिक्स दिस इज एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर लास्ट श्लोक फोर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी सिक्स so first we will recite first 45 shloka and later on uh, 46 yadi mam apratikaram yadi mam apratikaram asasram sasra paniya ha ditarashtra rane hannas tanme shatram bhavet यदि मतिक्रम यदि मतिकरम अशस्त्र शस्त्र पनय धृतराष्ट्र ने हन्न तन्मे समतर भवे सुनियम यदि इवेन इफ मम मी अप्रतिकरम विदाउट बीइंग रेसिस्टेंट और शस्त्रम विदाउट बीइंग फुल इक्विप्ड शस्त्र पनिया हा दोस विथ वेपन्स इन हैंड धर्तराष्ट्र हा दी सन्स ऑफ धर्तराष्ट्र राने On the battlefield, on the battlefield. Hanno, Hanno me kill, me kill. Tat, tat that, that. me me, me. me. For, for me. Shama taram better, better. bhavet would be. Translation: 
better for me if the sons of Dhritarashtra, weapons in hand, were to kill me unarmed and unresisting on the battlefield. Kindly, can you repeat translation, please? Better, better for me if the sons of Dhritarashtra, weapons in hand, were to kill me unarmed and unresisting on the battlefield. Okay, thank you. Parpat, it is the custom according to Kshatriya fighting principles that an unarmed and unwilling foe should not be attacked. Arjuna, however, decided that even if attacked by the enemy in such an awkward position, he would not fight. He did not consider how much the other party was bent upon fighting. All these symptoms are due to soft heartness resulting from his being a great devotee of Lord Krishna. Verse number 46. Sanjay Uvacha Eva Mukta Arjuna Sankhe Ratha Upastha Upavisat Vishrija Sasharam Chapam Shoka Shambhik Namanasaha Translation Sanjay said, Arjuna, having thus spoken on the battlefield, cast aside his bow and arrows and sat down on the chariot, his mind overwhelmed with grief. Sanjay said, Arjun, having been spoken on the battlefield, cast aside his bow and arrows and sat down on the chariot, his mind overwhelmed with grief. Purport, while observing the situation of his enemy, Arjuna stood up on the chariot. But he was so afflicted with lamentation that he sat down again, setting aside his bow and arrows. Such a kind and soft-hearted person in the devotional service of the Lord is fit to receive self-knowledge. So, we can see Srimad Bhagavata, Bhagavad Gita first sloka. What is first word? Huh? No, beginning, first word. Dhita Rashtra Uvacha, right? Dhita Rashtra. Dhita means what? Dhita means holding. He's holding. Rashtra means kingdom. So Dhita Rashtra holding his kingdom. He want to rule the whole world. And he want to feel enjoy. And he want to give this property to his son, not his brother. That's why his name is Dhrita Rashtra. Dhrita means holding, Rashtra means kingdom. He's holding his kingdom. That's why his name is Dhrita Rashtra. So, in one, one day in Vaikuntha Dham, Lord Vishnu was talking with uh, Lakshmi Devi. So, Lord Vishnu said, Dear Lakshmi, <coughs> the operation of my many potencies as well as how to become free from the bondage of birth and death and achieve my eternal nature can only be released by a person with a pure mind who is inclined to serve me. This transcendental knowledge is fully explained in Srimad Bhagavad Gita for understanding Bhagavad Gita. So Lakshmi Devi, she asked to Lord Vishnu, Dear Lord, if you yourself are surprised at the action of your energy and try to measure their limits, how can the Bhagavad Gita describe your unlimited energies? How to overcome them and attain the transcendental nature? So Lord Vishnu said, I myself manifested in the form of the Bhagavad Gita. Know that the first five chapters are my five head. The next ten chapters are my ten hands. 
and the 16th chapter is my stomach the last two chapter are my lotus feet this is how one should perceive the transcendental deity of the bhagavad gita bhagavad gita destroys all sins and an in, and an intelligent person who reads one chapter aloud daily or only one shloka half of a shloka or quarter of it will achieve the transcendental nature anyone who reads aloud hears or studies the first chapter of the bhagavad gita will easily cross the ocean of material suffering and attain the service of the lotus feet of lord sri krishna gita mahatma from the padma purana of krishna dvipan bas so a first chapter of bhagavad gita is the observing arjun observing his relatives in the battlefield he wanted to see who came to fight with me but when he saw all his guru his teacher his grandfather his cousin brother his friend all relatives came to fight with him he become very upset with whom i am fighting what for purpose i came here what is the reason and he is giving reason to lord krishna only for this purpose i would not fight better i can go to forest so as the opposing armies stand poised for battle arjuna the mighty warrior sees his intimate relatives teachers and friends in both armies ready to fight and sacrifice their lives overcome by grief and pity arjuna fails in strength his mind becomes of bewildered and he gives up his determination to fight same thing we can see in our personal life same thing bhagavad gita every one's personal life whole history in bhagavad gita so we will discuss main main point from this chapter so krishna as bhakta vatsala so verse number 21 to 27 krishna appears as the chariot driver of arjuna revealing his quality as bhakta vatsala arjun orders krishna to pl place his chariot between the two armies because he wants to see who is present in front of him he ordered lord krishna so lord krishna this is his bhakta vatsala he is very very affectionate to his devotee So in this verse number twenty one twenty seven, Krishna established this point. He is showing that how much he is very dear to his devotee. Arjuna orders Krishna to place his chariot between the two armies because he want to see who is present. Seeing those assemble for battle, Arjuna becomes hesitant to fight. And verse number twenty eight. to 46 arjuna's doubt his compassion arjuna being a soft hearted devotee becomes overwhelmed with compassion and forgets himself when he sees his relatives before him he has become fearful due to material conception of life everyone we are attached with our family members because of conception of life bodily connection we are seeing we are not seeing we are connected with soul we are calculating with our body not with soul not in siddha swarupa number 2 number 1 compassion number 2 enjoyment he argues that he will not be able to enjoy his kingdom if it is owned at the cost of the lives of his family members he fears sinful reactions for killing his kinsmen 
if I got something, I want to show to my relatives. Look, I have this. Look, I have purchased this new watch. Can you, can you see how, much be how beautiful it is? We want to show someone what we have. If someone purchased some land in Vindavan, he also wants to show his friends. Look, I purchased this land. I want to stay here. I will do my entire life person here. Right? Everyone, every living enti entity wants to show what he has, his property. Same thing happened in Arjuna's life. Sandliness and fear of sinful reactions, Arjuna argues that killing one's family is sinful and will lead to hell. The higher principle is that real religion is whatever Krishna says or wants. But we are not doing this. We are as speculating in our minds. Now his destruction of family. Arjun further argues that the destruction of the dynasty will lead to unchaste women, unwanted children, and the end of the spiritual culture. Arjun, having fearful of sinful reactions and concerned about the harmful effects of destroying families, therefore, Arjun decided not to fight, finally cuts aside his bow and sits down on the chariot. We can see Bhagavad Gita, old uh, edition book, Arjun is sitting down and Krishna below, below his counsel. And Arjun is taking his arrow, again he wants to fight, but not from coming from his heart. Krishna saying, I have to do it. Still, he is in illusion. According to the rules and regulations of fruitive activities, now verse number 41. We will go to verse number 41. Kindly open verse number 41. So here Prabhupada mentioned, Arjuna said, an increase, increase of unwanted population certainly causes hellish life both for the family and for those who destroy the family tradition. The ancestors of such corrupt families fall down because the performances for offering them food and water are entirely stopped. So, according to the rules and regulation of fruitive activities, there is a need to offer periodical food and water to the forefathers of the family. This offering is performed by worship of Vishnu because eating the remnants of food offered to Vishnu can deliver one from all kinds of sinful reactions. So according to Karma Mimangsha philosophy, when in uh, Nanda Maharaj wanted to worship Indraja Jagga before lifting Govardhan Hill. So Krishna put this Karma Mimangsha philosophy to his father. For what purpose are you doing this Jagga? You want to satisfy this demigod? He is applying this karma mimangsha philosophy to his father. Same philosophy Krishna also applied to Arjun. Bhagavad Gita is instruction of Lord Krishna. He is given instruction to Arjun. And Srimad Bhagavatam is Lord Krishna and his devotees pastime. For reading Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam, we should understand Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is Sutra for reading Srimad Bhagavatam. 
So according to Karma Mimamsa philosophy, Lord Krishna, he started talking with his father Nanda Maharaj. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, verse number 10, 24, 13. Karmana Jayate Jantu Karmanaiva Praliyate Shukham Dukham Bhayam Shemam Karmanaiva Abhipaddate Translation Lord Krishna said It is by the force of karma that a living entity takes birth and it is by karma alone that he meets his destruction. His happiness, distress, fear, and sense of security all arise as the effects of karma. So, according to our karma, we got such body. According to our previous life karma, we got this human body. We should utilize it in this life. Otherwise, again karma bandha. So, Every living entity is bound by different activities due to association with the modes of nature. It is stated Bhagavad Gita 13.22 Karmanam Gona Sangasya Sat Asat Joni Janmasu This is due to our association with material nature, thus we meet good and evil among various species. We get different types of bodies among 8400,000 species according to our karma. So when we go to main road, highway, sometimes you also cross the uh, traffic signal, right? When red light is uh, on, we stop our car. Then yellow, we prepare for ready to go. When green, then we start red, yellow and blue color, red, yellow and blue. So in this material world, three, uh, three modes of nature, Sattagun, Rajagun, Tamagun, red, yellow and blue. Those who are very expert artists, they can mix one color to another and they can create thousand, thousand color. 3 into 3, how many? 9. 9 into 9, 81. Like this thousand, thousand uh, gunas people we are associating every day. Shatta, Raja, Tama and into, 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 into like this. So, Karmanam Daiva Netrena. We work under the influence of material nature contaminated by the three modes and thus we get a certain type of body according to superior order. This is called karma bandha. We are entangled. Karma bandha. To get out of, to get out of this karma bandha, one must engage himself in devotional service. Then one will not be affected by the modes of material nature. Bhagavad Gita 14.26, Lord Krishna says, Mamcha jo bebicharena bhakti jugena sevate sa gunan samati taitana brahma bhuyaya kalpati. One who engages in full devotional service, who does not fall down in any circumstance at once, transcendence transcends the modes of material nature and thus comes to the level of Brahman. To remain immune from the material qualities, we must engage ourselves in devotional service. Sravanam Kirtanam Vishnismaranam That is our perfection of life. In this age of Kali Yuga, Sankirtan movement is studied by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Navadip Dham. In this age of Kali Yuga, this Sankirtan Dharma destroy all sinful uh, activities if we receive it from our heart. If we chant it purely from our heart. Only this mantra. 
the teaching of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare this is the only religion in this age of kali yuga and everyone will fulfill all his desire by chanting hare krishna maha mantra sila poopada says in 1971 london during govardhan puja time हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम ही वो क्या बोला हम कलो नास्ते वो नास्ते वो नास्ते वो गतिरंग न था इन दिस एज कलयुग का ओनली हरी नेम ही सेना देर इस नो आधार वे देर इस नो आधार वे देर इस नो आधार वे ओनली होली नेम हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र दिस नेम ही सफिशिएंट फॉर अस लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाभूत सेट पृथिवीते आछे जत नगर आदि ग्राम सर्वत्र पचार हुईबे मोरे नाम एवरी इन दिस वर्ल्ड एवरी कंट्रीज एवरी टाउन एवरी विलेज एवरी वन विल चेंज माय नेम एवरी वन विल ग्लोरीफाई माय नेम एंड दैट दैट नेम एस्टैब्लिश बाय सिला पोपत इन हिज ओल्ड हे एज ही ट्रैवल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड ही प्रीज Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement around the world. Tava katha mritam tapta jivanam kabibiriritam kalmasapaham sravanamangalam srematatatam bhruvigrinantiye bhuridajana The nectar of your words the descriptions of your activities are life and soul of those who are suffering in this material world. These narrations are transmitted by learned sages, eradicate one sinful reaction and bestow good fortune upon whoever hears them. These narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power. Certainly those who spread this message of God are most munificent. Sila Prabhupada is most munificent. Jodi Sila Prabhupada na hoito, if Sila Prabhupada na no come here in this material world, who deliver us like a fallen soul? We should be very grateful to Sila Prabhupada. Because Sila Prabhupada appeared here for deliverers like a fallen soul. Only for Prabhupada mercy we are here. Only by Prabhupada mercy I am sitting here, I mean I am giving Bhagavad Gita class here. Only Prabhupada mercy. Only Vaishnava's mercy. But not only you, actually we are also sitting here. Yes, we are. I am telling we are. Not only me. We are. Yes. We are also delivered from this the ocean of the birth and death activity. Yes, correct. This listening activity. Those who are listening these narrations, they are also most for, uh, fortunate. So we are also most fortunate by Sila Pupat Marsi. We are hearing Bhagavad Katha here. So in verse number 45, please open verse number 45. Arjun says, Yadi maam apratikaram, pratikaram apratikaram. Pratikaram means counter action. And apratikaram means without any counteraction. Now I'm explain. I'm explaining verse to verse, word to word. So Arjuna is informing Krishna, if the other party, Dhritarashtra, the sons of Dhartarashtra, other party, they kill me while I am not prepared. But that is not that regulation of fighting. That is not regulation of fighting. I have not uh, arm. I am keeping here. 
and other party come and kill me. No, that is not fighting regulation. Both should be equal. So, therefore, Ojana says, Apari Aprati Karam. Whether if I am not prepared and they kill me all of a sudden. This is wrong. Arjun understood. This is wrong. But I accept it. Why he want to accept it? Hmm? He didn't want to kill his kinsman. Yes, because he is connected. He is seeing with bodily conception of life. Even they kill me, I will not fight with them. Apratik karam. Without I, without I am fully equipped. Asastram. In the fight, one must be equipped with all weapons. But when I am not equipped with weapons or I am not willing to fight, because I don't want to fight. Because I don't want to see my kinsmen die here. Who will take care of my families? Who will take care of my generations? He was thinking like that way. Because he is a sadhu. Sadhu always follow the shastra. Sadhu, shastra, guru. These three things we need. Who is sadhu? Who follow the shastra? He is the sadhu. Who is guru? Who follow sadhu and shastra? He is guru. Arjun, he is a sadhu. That is, he is, he is giving shastra knowledge to Arjun, uh, Krishna. Hey Krishna, only for this reason I don't want to fight. This is being decided. This is being de decided, Arjun. I will not fight. Because I cannot kill my kinsman. Therefore, I am not going to take the step of Pratikaram, counter action. So, even in this condition, they come and kill me. Yadi maam apratikaram asastram. I am not fully equipped with shastra, weapons. Asastram shastra paniyaha. And they are fully equipped with weapons. Who? Dita Rashtra Rane Hannus. So, in this condition, the other party, my cousin's brothers, son of Dita Rashtra, if they kill me, Rane Hannus, Tanme Samataram Bhavet. Last word. I shall prefer that I am not going to fight. Even if you think that. If you don't fight, then they will take the opportunity. He is talking with Lord Krishna like this way. He is already giving the counter argument that Krishna, if you think that I don't fight, but they will take the opportunity and kill me immediately. He understood their position because he knows his brother. How they are. That also I shall prefer. I knew it, but I will accept it. But I am not going to fight. This is my final decision. He already put this to Krishna, in front of Krishna. Krishna just seeing his beloved friend Arjun. What he is doing? Then verse number 46. Sanjay Uvacha. So, Sanjay, the secretary of Dhritarashtra, they were sitting in a room. If Abam Ukta, the saying, Arjun, the person, Arjun is nominative case. He is in now nominative case. So, Sanjay, he is seeing from the room. Uh, in front of uh, Dhritarashtra because he got a blessing from Vishmadev. Sorry, who? Vaisadev. He was disciple of Vaisadev. 
So he can see from his room what happening in the battlefield. Arjun Shankhe in the battlefield. Ratha Upastha on the chariot. Upabhishat. You have seen the, we can see the picture, right? How Arjun is sitting behind uh, Krishna. And Kish, uh, Krishna below the uh, council. So Arjun is just trying to take his arrow and try to fight. But instead of fighting, he is Vishrija sa saram chapam. Vishrija sa saram chapam. No, I don't want to fight. Again, he is feeling hesitation. I will not fight. And again, he giving up. He, again, he keep aside. And he is thinking, everything finished. And he is telling, I am not want to fight i don't want to fight with this with my kinsmen bishridja sa saram bishridja sa saram chapam he still why it is happening here he no can accept this situation so sambigna manasaha his mind was overwhelmed with lamentation that he is thinking how I can kill my kinsman. This is the position, Arjuna's position in the battlefield. So, Krishna has already arranged the battle and, the, and Arjuna knows that Krishna wants to this battle. Arjuna knows it. Still, Arjuna saying that Yadi Maam Apratikaram He decided in his own way. Arjuna decided his own way. This is called Maya illusion still we also in maya illusion what krishna is saying we are not listening what guru Maharaj is telling we are not listening guru Maharaj says stand every day 16 round we chant actually we chant properly guru Maharaj said we should follow our principle we are following strictly still we are in illusion i am telling myself i am still in illusion Arjun knows is Krishna's plan. This is Krishna's plan, Krishna's desire, and still Arjun is speaking his own philosophy. That means Arjun is placing himself on the position of ordinary man. Ordinary man does not know what is Krishna and what is Krishna's desire. And he manufactures his own philosophy and thoughts. That is ordinary man position. But Arjun, he is always friend of Krishna, constant friend of Krishna. His name is, Arjun name is what Prabhu? Arjun has another name. Gurakesh. Arjun, another name is Gurakesh. Above, above all darkness, suddenly he must be. One who is Krishna's friend directly, how there can be ignorance? There cannot be any ignorance. Krishna Surja Shama Mayahai Andakar Jaha Krishna Tahanahi Mayar Adhikar. Where is Krishna? There is sunshine. There darkness no can come. Devotees always with Krishna. They are always in sunshine. 
Then when Arjun is playing that part, he knows Krishna's desert, still he says that Yadi Mam Apratikaram Asasram Sasra Paniyaha. And after Tanme Shamataram Bhavit. This is this is he, Arjun, he is playing like that way with Krishna. Why? What is the reason? Why Arjun playing like this way? Hmm? For us. Because without Arjun's playing like that, how this Bhagavad Gita will come? This first chapter just observing. Krishna didn't say Bhagavad Gita knowledge to Arjun. He did not give. Just they are observing. First chapter just observing. What is going on? This is just like playing on the stage. Arjun is playing on the stage. One very rich man, he is in a drama, he is playing the part of a very poor man. But actually, Arjun is not poor man. But in the stage, he is playing the part of a poor man. Similarly, Arjun is not bewildered, but for the time being, he appears to be bewildered by Krishna's Maya. Because Krishna wants to speak Bhagavad Gita for the benefit of the whole world. That what is spiritual knowledge, therefore, this is a stage arrangement. And Sila Popa traveled around the world and he preached this Bhagavad Gita knowledge to the fallen soul to come to their own Sharupa. And Sila Popa wanted to establish Varnasnam Dharma. Chatur Varna Maya Srishta Guna Karma Vibhagasa. Brahmana should be there. Kshatriya should be there, Vaishya should be there, and Shudra should be there. Varieties. That's why this society name is International Society for Krishna Consciousness. All people should come here, but they should be trained up properly. From Shudra class to they should come to Brahmana class. Because everyone in this age, Kali Yuga, Janmana Jayate Shudra. By birth, everyone is Shudra. But some so-called Brahman are telling, I am Brahman. I am Brahman. I am I'm from this Brahman family. No. You are by birth, Shudra. Jatmana Jayate Shudra. Bhagavatam is telling that. We should purify by trading process. By accepting Guru. There are two kind of uh, education. Material education and spiritual education. Spiritual education come through the Guru, Vaishnava, spiritual master. We should associate with Sadhu. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Kai, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hai. We should associate devotees. By devotees' mercy, we can see Krishna. By Krishna's mercy, we can associate devotee. And finally, we can meet with our spiritual master. And our spiritual master, will deliver us from this material world. But we should follow the instruction. Hare Krishna. Any questions or comment regarding on this topic? You explained that at the name of the Dhritarashtra. 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 Dhritarashtra means the holding. Holding. Rashtra means kingdom. So his what, what was his earlier name actually? Because that's why his name became from the Shastra Dhritarashtra. And I heard from some uh, senior devotees. From the beginning or just? In Bhagavad Gita. I, I don't know previous what happened Prabhu. Just I am uh, seeing in this Bhagavad Gita first sloka, Dhritarashtra Uvacha. And I heard it from some senior Vaishnavas. He said, the, the, this Dhritarashtra meaning is holding kingdom. Yeah, he wanted a holding kingdom. After he left the body, he, will, he wanted to give to his son. They can rule the kingdom. I mean to say his name was right from since birth or just he 
The name of Duryodhan is Suryodhan. Actual name. Okay. I don't know about this. <coughs> yes, bro. Actually, I was ask. I want to ask a question. Like uh, you say, like the Nirmanashram, there is a four people like Shudra, Satriya, Vaishya, and Brahman. Yes, bro. So I think you said like just before, like for Shudra, uh, he has to. Practice the Brahman, then he can become a Brahman. So I, my question is like, uh, he can he achieve like uh, the perfection of life as being a Shudra or serving in the society of uh, Devi Varna Varnashram Dharma, or he has to become a Brahman and then he will attend Krishna. Or like he should practice devotional activities under a special master. Then gradually he can come to the Brahmana status. So he has to come on the Brahmana stage. He, like, there is so many instances uh, in the Shastra, the Shudra uh, directly achieve the perfection and he got the, I mean, perfect, got the darshan of Lord and something. Chandalana Dijasrashta Hari Bhakti Parayana. Chandal can become a Dijasrashta, Brahman Shrashta. If he is Hari Bhakti Parayana, if he is connected with Lord Hari, Lord Krishna. <laughs> yes, it is according to their karma, they born in this family. If we go to some, when uh, there are ten samskaras, they have to establish in the particular one because of their karma. Yes. If man wants to become Brahma, he has to establish because of his karma activity. Then he will become the Brahma activity. So, similarly, in the Iskan activity, philosophy activity, we are studying this Mangala, the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, and just following the rules and regulations which have been prescribed by the Prabhupada, uh, like, you know. That's why we have been Brahmins here. As Sanatan Goswami says, those who are initiated through the disciplic succession, they become a Vaishnava. Not only Brahman, Vaishnava Brahman. More than Brahman. So we should practice strictly our devotional service under a special master guidance. And for my questions answer, like finally you want to say like when Shudra will practice under a spiritual master, then he will get the uh, qualities of Brahman, right? Yes, Prabhu, correct. Then he can get perfection. That's the only way for him, right? Yes, Prabhu. Right. Cannot be chanting or performing bhakti or he will get the profession. Bro, that's why so many non-devotees coming to Iskand, they are associated with devotees, they are starting chanting Japa and they are starting reading Bhagavad Gita and they are going to BH and Mayapur Institute and they are studying Bhag uh, Sastra. Gradually they are coming to the, that stage, that level. That is because of Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj Mars and Krishna's Mars. That's why in our heart there is a soul, that soul also another name is Chaitya Guru. He inspired him, you should come to temple, you should associate devotee. Yeah, yeah, that is different. But uh, I mean, like, uh, if we associate with devotees, that is a, a spiritual thing. But uh, if he have to become Brahmana, I mean, that's uh, something like Varnashram thing. Yes, Prabhu. So, uh, I think he, if he chant or if he serve under devotees, maybe he can get the perfection. Or Diksha is also spiritual, but is not a Varnashram. Prabhu, I already told from the Shastra, Prabhupada wanted to establish Varnamsram Dharma. And it should come through the uh, disciplic succession. That's why we are getting initiation, Harinam Diksha. When we uh, qualified that, a special master gave us second initiation for worshipping the deity and become a Brahmana. A special master giving us chance to become a Brahmana. There was some senior devotee, he told me that there is a vast difference in between the 
is initiation brahman initiation in our society and the brahman initiation in smart brahman society there is a vast that say spiritual initiation brahman initiation and that's another initiation yes bro that is different that's the karma gandhi yes they are karma gandhi and we're, that's why we are vaishnav brahman Okay, so can I call, conclude here? Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki, Sila Bhopad ki, Anantakoti Vashna Bhakta Vrinda ki, Gaur Pramada.